Welcome along. We begin our roundup of week 24 at the Parc des Passes with Paris Saint Germain edged Bordeaux on Saturday to remain 10 points clear at the top. The only goal came from the penalty spot after Thomas Meunier was brought down by Nicolas de Preville. But victory came at a cost for the champions. Edinson Cavani lashed in the penalty but hurt himself in the process. The Uruguayan now has an injured tendon in his hip and that could rule him out of PSG's biggest game of the season along with Neymar. Tuesday's trip to Manchester United in the Champions League last 16. Lille tightened their grip on second as they picked up a fifth consecutive win in Gangon. Rising star Raphael Leal put the northern side ahead at the start of the second half after good work from Jonathan Icone, the Portuguese forward's seventh of the campaign. Loic Remy then came off the bench to win a late penalty as he was tripped by Pedro Robacho. The former Leon and Nice man coolly converting for his third goal of the season. That's a fifth straight away win for Lille, who are now six points ahead of Leon. Well, that was after Bruno Genesio's side at lost in Nice. A week after becoming the first team in Ligue 1 Conferama this season to beat PSG, Lyon were undone by a penalty midway through the second half. Tanki and Dombele clattering into Ignatius Ganago. The referee taking a second look and awarding the spot kick. And it was emphatically converted by Remy Valter. 1-0 and Nice up to seventh. Montpellier are fourth after snatching a draw against Monaco. Michel de Zakarian's men were looking for their first home win over the Principality side since 1990, but they fell behind on 15 minutes as Jelson Martins volleyed in his very first Ligue 1 Conferama goal. The home side equalised in the 66th minute after a bit of pinball in the Monaco area. Gaetan Laborde firing in his ninth goal of the season. Monaco restored their lead eight minutes from time. Radamel Falcao celebrating his 33rd birthday in style by also getting his ninth goal of the campaign. But there was to be a final twist. Montpellier awarded a late penalty after Kamil Glick caught Petar Skuletic. Referee Frank Schneider checking with the VAR and pointing to the spot. Andy Delors just about squeezing in his, you guessed it, ninth goal of the season with a little help from Daniel Sabasic. 2-2 the final score, Monaco remain 18th. Rennes rounded out an excellent week with a comfortable victory over fifth place Saint-Étienne, adding to their wins over Amiens in the league and Lille in the French Cup. And by Nyang put them ahead on 21 minutes with a bullet header. And Le Vert, struggling without their suspended talisman and top scorer Wabi Kazri conceded a penalty late on. Captain Loic Perrin, the guilty party. Hatem Benarfa sweeping in his fifth of the season, even if Stefan Ruffier did get a hand to it. And Ren even had time for a third goal in injury time. Amari Traore feeding Ismail Assar, who put this one on a plate for Adrian Hunu. 3 0, and Ren up to eighth place. Marseille secured back-to-back -back wins in Ligue 1 Conferama for the first time since November, though they were forced to come from behind after Steve Mondanda gifted Dijon on the opening goal at Stade Gaston Girard. Jordan Marier sweeping in his first goal since September 2017. Marseille equalised through Mario Balotelli early in the second half. No goals for the Italian in ten games for Nice this season, but he's already got two in three for Marseille. And Rudy Garcia's side claimed all three points thanks to a superb effort from Lucas Acampos, who was last on target in November's reverse fixture. How about this from the Argentine? A nutmeg on Cedric Yambare and an emphatic finish for his third of the campaign. 2-1 Marseille, they're up to sixth place, while Dijon slipped down to 17th. Angers made it back-to-back -back league victories for the first time since September as they ended Strasbourg's four-game winning streak. After an incredible miss against Dijon last week, Wilfred Kanga got the opener after being nicely set up there by Abdoulaye Bamba. The 20-year-old PSG youth product with his first goal in Ligue 1 Conferama. And Kanga even doubled up early in the second half after being played in by Sharon Doy. Two shots and two goals for a clinical Angers. Well, Strasbourg did put one back on 87 minutes through Sanjin Precic, who arrived in January, but it was too little too late. 2-1, the final score.
There was to be no repeat of the eight-goal French Cup thriller between Toulouse and Reims at the stadium as the two sides played out a one-all draw on Sunday. Matti Cafaro setting up Remy Uda as Reims took the lead on 55 minutes. He's now his side's top scorer with five goals. But as he so often does, Max Alan Gradel got to lose out of jail late on with a wonderful goal. The TFC captain with his ninth of the season to rescue a point for his side. Well worth another look. To lose 14th, Rats at 10th. Not paid tribute to former striker Emiliano Sala before their game against Nîmes on Sunday, but they were unable to claim a victory in the Argentines' honour. And that was in spite of taking a 2-0 lead in at half-time. Khalifa Koulibaly with the opener on 15 minutes, adding to his strike in the midweek French Cup win over Toulouse. The Canaries were then awarded a penalty as Koulibaly was fouled by Hervé Liboé. Majid Juarez doing the honours. But the Nîmes fight back began three minutes into the second half. Baptiste Guillaume ghosting to the back post to start in Teji Savanier's cross. Antonin Bobichon then brought the visitors level with one of the goals of the weekend. An incredible lob from the midfielder, who's already had a couple of spectacular efforts this season against PSG and Bordeaux. No chance for Cyprian Tatarasanu, the non keeper. Well, Neem took the lead for the first time with five minutes to go. Jordan Ferry putting it away at the second time of asking. His first goal since joining on loan from Lyon in November as a medical joker. And substitute Sada Tube completed a superb turnaround for Neem with a late fourth, powering away on the counter attack and going it alone. Neem are now 11th and closing on safety, while Nantes slipped out of 15th. Finally, Amiens came out on top of a vital relegation six pointer with Caen. Musa Kanate got the game's only goal, his first since August, midway through the second half from a Saman Godos cross. Amiens' first goal on home soil in over 500 minutes as they snapped a six-game winless run. They jumped to 16th, while Caen a 19th. So all the results from week 24 with 26 goals scored, four victories on the road for Marseille, Lille, Angers and Nîmes. The Croco have now won more games away than they have at home. Lyon, meanwhile, losing ground in the battle for second place. Lille are still 10 points adrift of PSG, but they're now six clear of Lyon. Montpellier and Saint-Étienne also stumbling this weekend, allowing Marseille and Nice to close the gap and join them on 37 points. Run up to eighth as they target another European campaign. Gangor have now lost eight of their 12 home games this season and they remain rock bottom. Five points behind Monaco in the relegation playoff place. Can't slip down to 19th before a rearranged fixture against Nantes on Wednesday evening. Lyon kick off week 25 at home to Gangon before four games on Saturday, including Marseille, Amiens and Monaco Nantes. Five games on Sunday, with PSG heading to Saint-Étienne five days after their Champions League trip to Old Trafford.